Hello. Today I want to show you how I get the raw files from the MeSphere direct on my phone and how to edit them. Um, this workflow is only for Android. I don't know have any iOS devices and as far as I know it's not possible on iOS on the iPhone. Um, okay, let's start. We turn the MeSphere on and we enable the Wi-Fi, then we, oops, we go to the VLAN, to the Wi-Fi, and looking for the MeSphere. There it is. Now we need the first step, the MeSphere transfer. This app is free and it's really simple. You open it, press in sync, then you get the folders from your SD card from the MeSphere where are pictures inside. Really simple. So you select one folder and in this moment it's starting to download the JPEGs. Um, the photos are unstitched. But in our case, we want to do it for the raw file. So we press this JPEG slider, the format slider, and it changed to DNG. I think it should be this folder. It's one file. It's taking a while. Okay. Not so long as I expected. Okay, now it's saved in the MeSphere transfer folder. Um, it's directly on the internal storage. I will check this. I use a file explorer for that. Going directly into the MeSphere transfer folder and yes, I see a DNG file inside. Now I can open it with a photo editor. You need a photo editor that can handle raw files, DNG files in this case. Uh, you have different possibilities. You can use, for example, the free uh, Snapseed, um, but also Lightroom will work. I prefer Photoshop Express. Okay, there we have it. Um, maybe you noticed colors are not very strong, but that's usual for a raw file. Then we starting to develop. I go to the different um, settings. Um, because it's not stitched, you have to be careful with the editing. You cannot use any edit format that um, would affect only parts of the photo, uh, especially around the edges. I uh, use some clarification, some sharpness. This is more like basic editing because um, after the step I will stitch and after that I will color correct this image again. So um, then I don't know some noise maybe. DNG always have more noise like JPEG because there was not no correction. Um, this is the dust remover or dehaze I think it's in English name. So this is really powerful. Look at really like great colors but also a lot of darkness. So I Starting with a little bit. Okay, that was the Mesphere. Um, what next? Contrast. Yeah, contrast always nice. Some the lights a little bit down. The shadows we go up. A lot of shadow area inside. So this is white. And this is dark. So we can bright up the dark areas. Let me go to 30, yes. Temperature, um, a little bit. Hmm. Wait, let's go back to zero. I have to also have back. Something happens, okay. Uh, you have to be careful with this. As you see, it's messing up the photo. But I think 
this again. No, it's also not working. Um, if you have like a normal J um, RAW file, like from your phone or from a DSLR, this works better. Something with the, I think with the colors are not correct in the DNG file of the Mesphere, but we can do it later. That's not the problem. We have to increase the dynamic and the colors um, of the DNG file because the DNG file is very flat. That's normal. Let me check this could be 50 let go to 30 uh -huh. 34 yes that look nice we go to next and there we can save the image to the gallery or go directly to the next app that we need to stitch the image and what you need to pay attention is that you use the highest resolution otherwise you get problems with the stitching we need an additional app for stitching. That's the MeSphere Converter. It's cost around 15 euros, but it's worth all the money. Before you starting using it, you should read instruction and make a test photo and adjust your camera for stitching. Uh, this works very well. So I use usually the MeSphere app, but if I get stitching errors, I go to the MeSphere Converter and you get better results. Also, the colors should be better with more depth. We can transfer this image directly to the MeSphere Converter. There it is, MeSphere Converter. It's really simple. You see it. You have some settings here, but it's not really necessary. You can also make a PNG output. I don't use it in this case. You have the quality of the JPEG and this is the calibration. I have done it already. Here you can adjust the horizon line. So I make it a bit more straight in the other direction. This part has to be done. Does look okay. So, and then you press the disk button and it's starting to save. Okay, now we can leave the app. So I use my gallery app, go to the MeSphere Converter app and here is the stitched image. Let's take a look if everything is fine or if we get like a stitching error from the color correction. No, it's perfect. So that's the finished image. Now you can use it as you want. Also, you can read it into the MeSphere app again and then create tiny planets or use another app or use it as a 360 photo. And you can also make some more color correction. That was everything for me. I hope you liked this tutorial. If yes, leave a like or a comment. I would be happy. And yeah, see you next time.